I've never done stand up before, but I'm really good at sitting down. <laughs> you gotta see it to believe it. Uh, yesterday I went to the doctor's office and he diagnosed me with the sniffles. Um, so if this isn't very good, I'm gonna get all the sniffles. Uh, if you're wondering what a doctor gives you, when you have the sniffles, uh, it's a judgmental look <laughs> and um, a prescription for a Gatorade. <laughs> um, lately, though, in the past 24 hours, I've been sneezing a, a lot. And if you could tell by my voice, you could probably imagine that my sneeze is even worse. It's like a bomb. So I'm praying as I'm sitting on a doctor's sneeze during anyone's performance. Uh, but last semester, I got a nickname in class uh, from my professor. Every time I put on my hand, up my hand to ask a question, he'd say, oh, it's the girl with the really annoying sneeze, yeah, ask. Uh, <laughs> which brings me to the theme of dreams. I dream that people know what the fuck love hunger is. <laughs> I go to job interviews and people are like, oh, we can't hire you if you're commuting all the way from Guelph. And I'm like, no, no, I go to Guelph Humber. And they're like, oh, so you, you don't actually, you're not actually getting a degree, you go to Humber. And I was like, well, you can get degrees at Humber. But I'm not at Humber, I'm at Guel Humber, and they don't know what I am. So I <laughs> when I was little, uh, my mom would take me to the movies because it was cheaper to bring me along to see romantic comedies than it was to pay for a babysitter. At least that's how she justified it to me when I was five. Um, so we'd see these romantic comedies and romantic dramas, and during the film, she would just like cover my eyes during all this intimate, sexy scenes. And so, as a five year old, it was my dream to fall in love. Uh, <laughs> I was really good at it, guys. Uh, I got my first boyfriend in preschool. His name was Christian. We went on our date to the play, the park, and as we were playing, this girl came up to me, her name is Rosie, and she bit my finger and broke up my really romantic vibes that I was sending out. Uh, that fucking bitch, like, <laughs> a five-year-old date. I saw her around, like, ten years later, and I still was like, <laughs> um, later on, when I still tried out my romantic luck, I was in the sixth grade and I started dating an eighth grader only. By dating, I mean he added me on a wrist and told me he loved me in all caps. Uh, I tried to say hi to him at school and he ignored me. Uh, so in my mind, I thought, oh, this is a fucking unhealthy relationship, isn't it? So I just kind of blocked him. And, I was, and he never addressed me about it in real life because he'd never say hi back to me. So I mean, I think it was a mutual decision. Uh, later on in life, as in now, you can probably tell by my awkwardness on stage, I'm a really, really bad flirt. I can't, I, I can't recognize when someone's flirting with me and I cannot send out the vibes. In fact, so much so I realized the other day I flirt with guys the way I meet a dog. <laughs> so I go up to guys and I'm like, hey there, are you a cutie? And then I start to scratch under their chin and stroke their fur. And then, you know, I start getting into it and, I, and I'm about to give them their treat and then they get really awkward and they leave. I presume they're going to go pee on a, on a tree or something like um, It's actually gotten so bad that I was once at Lynx and I went up to this guy. Well, actually, it's like a pretty mutual thing. We like made made a contact across the room, and I realized he looked a lot like a boxer dog. <laughs> and so he came up to me and was like, "Hey!" And I was like, "Oh my god, he looked just like a boxer." And he was like, "Yeah, well, I don't box, but I go to the gym." And I was like, "No, no, no." <laughs> like, One second, and I pulled up a picture of a boxer on my phone. I was like, "See, like the eyes and the and the you guys have the same forehead." And he went, and he said, I'm going to go get a drink, and he walked away. I don't know if it was the comparison that made him uncomfortable, or if he thought I was really into bestiality. <laughs> I've, 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 got, I've got bad luck with guys, um, and I have bad luck with dreams, and that's, that's it. I have nothing else to say. Bye! <laughs>